so hello everyone welcome you all to this new video so in my previous videos i had started with the digital image processing and i had covered the first module around the six to seven videos are already uploaded where i've covered all the important concepts which is there from your syllabus and please please do refer the, those videos guys okay so those are very important ones and from those concepts uh, they would be definitely asking you in the exams so please go and watch it those have not watched it so in this video i'm going to start with module 2 uh, the name of the module is image transforms okay image transforms under that we are going to see a lot of topics one is related to image different 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 image transformations some important uh, image transformation techniques based on that some problems on basis functions and uh, some important matrices discrete fourier transform dfts dcts har matrix everything we are going to see in this module okay so one by one let us start now first transforms why do, why is the image transformation required let us see why that image transformation or uh, and what do you mean by the image transformation so for basically what is image transformation is it is just the way of analyzing the image in a different manner that is you do you have heard about in max fourier transform and all right that what it does is it shifts the spatial domain into the frequency domain so if that if that's the case we do this transformation here just to check the image in different domain domain uh, domain values okay so that's why the reason why do we do the transforms so here let us see some other points they have mentioned it that why we do transforms first point is for fast computation for example convolution versus multiplication for filter with wide support that is fast computation the uh, for an image to be processing in a faster manner we do the uh, process in spatial domain and frequency domain and we compare in which domain it is very faster so in both these domains we do the operations of multiplication in spatial domain and convolution in frequency domain okay for filter with wide support next is conceptual insights for various image processing conceptual insights for various image processing for example spatial frequency info smooth moderate change fast change so it could we could be categorizing it into different uh, adequates which is required for an image okay under spatial domain next obtain transformed data as measurement for example blurred images radiology images medical and astrophysics etc next is we often need inverse transform for that may need to get assistance from other transform okay so transformed data as measurements means whatever the data which we have transformed if you want to get back the data you should be doing the inverse of that so that's why the data measurement only would be possible if we take the inverse that of that by, uh, to get the to get back our original image okay for efficient storage and transmission that is pick a few representatives which is called as basis so this uh, in detail about basis we are going to discuss in the upcoming videos now so this was all about the introduction part about why we required image transforms okay introduction image transforms are a class of unitary matrices used for representing the images okay what do you mean by the sentence is it is a class of unitary matrices unitary matrices means you know that a matrix would be represented in the form of f of x comma y in terms of pixels and those all matrices are called as unitary matrices okay so which are used for representing the images okay those matrices we are going to perform some transformation based on that the pixel values or the level pixel level intensities will be varying with respect to the what transformation we are doing and uh, some important kinds of transforms would be very very important to determine it okay so that we are going to discuss one by one next is an image can be ex expanded in terms of a discrete set of basis arrays they are called as basis images okay so discrete set of basis means dividing the image into different categories okay so those different categories are called as basis arrays which is also named as basis images okay the basis images can be generated by unitary matrices so let us see now one dimensional orthogonal and unitary transforms okay for a 1d sequence u of n which is where the value of n is between 0 to n minus 1 is represented as a vector u of size n okay and the unitary transform is written as v of k is equal to summation of n equal to 0 to n minus 1 a of k comma n into u of n where k varies from 0 to n minus 1 
okay if you substitute it the values of uh, uh, if you could, you could be simplifying it and writing it as v is equal to a times u okay this v is equal to a into u okay this is for a one dimensional orthogonal next one dimensional orthogonal and unitary transforms where u of n u of n is equal to summation of k varying from n minus 1 v of k into a star the star the star represents the conjugate okay where a star of k comma n where n varies from 0 to n minus 1 so it is just a, it is just as the inverse function okay since if v is equal to a times u then what would be u u is equal to bring this a to other side it would be inverse or the conjugate okay a inverse of a conjugate transpose of v okay where v of k where this v of k is the series representation of the sequence u of n okay the columns a star t that is a conjugate transpose that is vectors a k conjugate uh, that is given by a star k n comma where n varies from 0 to n minus 1 the whole transpose is called as the basis vectors of k okay that basis vectors you are going to see in detail in the upcoming videos next is two dimensional orthogonal and unitary transform a general orthogonal series expansion for an n x n image that is u of m comma n is a pair of transformations of the form okay so that is here we should be taking with respect to two variables okay why because they are mentioned for two dimensional so the formula goes like this that is y of k comma l where in this case we, we have taken only for v of k here we should be taking with respect to two variables for two dimension y of k comma l double summation one is for m tending to 0 to n minus 1 and n tending to 0 to n minus 1 x of m comma n a, a of k comma l into m comma n okay where this this is the main function in which the operation is taking place and x of m comma n is equal to summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1 l equal to 0 to n minus 1 y of k comma l into a conjugate of k l m n okay where this a a of a comma k l the whole bracket m cross m comma n is called the image transform okay so this is the basic image transform and it is a set of complete orthonormal discrete basis functions okay so here so here are the separable unitary transforms which you need to be knowing in order to do the calculation of the basis function that is where a equal to set of a comma km and b is equal to set of b of l comma n are unitary matrices that is a into a star transpose is equal to a star trans a transpose into a star that is equal to the identity matrix i so this condition you need to be knowing if b and a are equal then what it would be looking like then that is y of k comma l is equal to double summation for m and n tending to 0 to n minus 1 a of k comma m into x of m comma n into a of l comma n that would be corresponding to the capital y is equal to a x into a transpose okay so this is the image transform equation image transform equation which you need to be noting down and this is the x is equal to a star transpose into y into a star so this is the inverse of that that is if you take the inverse of this we would be getting back our original image okay so these two formulas you need to be knowing very carefully so you please note it down and in the next video we are going to discuss with the basis images and we are going to see with one problem just to understand this in a detailed manner okay so that's all for this video guys this was all about the introduction to the image transformation and some of the important terms related to the unitary transform and ortho orthogonal based unitary transforms you should you need to be knowing it okay and these two formulas you should be noting it down very important ones so that's all guys we'll see you in the next video thank you